Uh, so thanks very much for sitting down with me today. Um, I'm here to talk to you about your uh, new movie, Cesar Chavez. Thank you. Um, Michael Pena, who plays Cesar Chavez in the movie, and John Malkovich, who plays Chavez's main adversary, they're actually from Chicago. I know. Have they told you anything about the city? What have they told you about Chicago? Just good things, you know? I mean, Steppenwolf has been a reference for me for quite a long time, and uh, and I've been in, in Chicago many times. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember being here with Itu Mama Tambien, and uh, yeah. this was a very important place for, for the promotion. Uh, then Chicago has a film festival I've been to, and it's uh, it's, it's an interesting city. I love it. Uh, it's very beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, there's great opera, a great <laughs> theater. Uh, I mean, what else can you ask for? And definitely, <coughs> the story of Michael here in, it, it's interesting, and he, I was really close to that. In fact, it's it's one of the reasons why I I, I cast him. Uh, mm -hmm. He's not just a great actor and a very talented one, but uh, he understands the journey of a Mexican American. You know, he came to the, uh, he was born in Chicago. He's a first generation. His father was the one that came from from Jalisco, and he lived here. Uh, a very similar experience that the one uh, Cesar Chavez had to go through in in Arizona, uh, mm -hmm. basically being born in a place that reminds you every way you every day you don't belong. Uh, having to go to school and, 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 and study in English and then go back home and uh, live almost in Mexico, you know, in mm -hmm. Spanish and everyone talking about that place they just left. Yeah. A first generation is, is it's very complex and there's many layers to play a first generation. Uh, and this, this man knows and understands the experience perfectly. So Michael Pena, Rosario Dawson, America Ferreira, um, all are in their 20s and 30s, and as are you yourself. <coughs> so what was the most challenging part of making a movie that's set mostly in the 1960s? Well, there, I mean, it's far away, but not that far. It's still very fresh. You mm -hmm. know, this movement did not happen long ago. There's so many, I mean, it's very well documented. There's so many film and recordings and articles to read, pictures to see. Uh, and I have to say that distance is good, you know? Yeah. Uh, because it, it's not the same when you talk about something that you experienced, because then you have your own agenda. And here, this is not the story of one person. This is the story of a movement, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, my goal was to, yes, celebrate everyone that had to do with the movement, everyone that worked with Cesar, and obviously Cesar and his family, but uh, but my film is more to 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 let everyone know that Cesar existed, to tell the story to all of those who think Cesar Chavez is a street or the name of mm -hmm. a park, but they don't know why and uh, what he means for a community and uh, how important he is for American history. It's for them that I, I made this film, you know. It's for a younger generation that today cannot forget uh, the legacy of Cesar Chavez and uh, that have to not just celebrate it, but know it, things like this are possible, you know. Change is possible. Yes. And it's about getting involved. And so it's all about inspiring uh, my generation and younger generations, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, Sure. Um, as a Filipino American, I was surprised at the role Filipino workers played in the beginning of the the workers' movement. Yeah. Um, was there any part of Cesar Chavez's life that surprised you as you were researching for the film? Well, the first thing, yeah, the first thing was uh, uh, everyone talks about the farm workers uh, going on strike and what it meant back then and the strength they showed and. And in fact, it was the Filipinos who went first, mm -hmm. and they decided to join. So they were sending a message of, uh, of, of, yeah, of change is possible if, if we get united, you know? If we find everything that connects us instead of those things that separate us. And uh, I, I really love that that way of starting the film, you know? It was, it was this community following uh, another community, and the growers, <coughs> they all thought communities were fractured, mm -hmm. were not, never gonna connect, you know, and, uh, and they sent a message, and they did. And today, I believe, we have to send the same message. 
Uh, when I think about the film, it's like, I don't think this film is for Latinos. I think this film is for everyone in this country because the film is about a boycott. And what the boycott did is that the story of farm workers suddenly became the story of America. Mm -hmm. You know, everyone around the country reacted. So it's a story about those who reacted to. And, uh, and that connects with the journey of everyone. You know, farm workers would, <coughs> they didn't have the tools we had we have today so for the boycott they had to go and tell personal stories to people uh, and, and convince them not to buy grapes so there was all these farm workers taking buses and traveling around the country you know there's many beautiful stories of people that came all the way from california to chicago mm -hmm. uh, a, a few of them you know men and women that never got out of their communities M many did not speak english and they suddenly were here and in the cold, waiting for people, uh, you know, outside of, 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 of supermarkets uh, to try to tell them the story behind the products that they were buying. And uh, that's when I say this is a film about everyone here because we're, we're all consumers. <laughs> so we're all part of this chain. Yes. Um, in the movie, Fernando Chavez um, complains that his father makes everything into <coughs> a history lesson. If someone said that about your film, what would you say to them? If, they, if someone would say that about my film, mm -hmm. I would start crying because from day one I said, I'm not going to do a history lesson, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, in fact, <laughs> teachers that do give history lessons, they, every time they come to me and say, why did you leave this out and why did you not talk about this and this is not the way to get from A to B, There's something mm -hmm. happened in between and I go like, listen, film is not a history lesson. Film, in fact, is about engaging emotionally. It's about the, 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 the connection you can make to characters and, and the mood, mm -hmm. the, yeah, the emotions you can feel on the way. And, uh, and it's about having a good time in the cinema. You know, it's about entertaining. Uh, cinema can bring some curiosity for mm -hmm. people to go and investigate a little more about Cesar, to find out a little more, not just about him, but the whole movement. But film shouldn't be teaching you, you know? That's, uh, I, at least that's not the film I like watching. So I always thought, I, I am paying, I am celebrating the movement. I am talking about the amazing strategy behind the boycott. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the, 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 the sacrifice, the courage, the, 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 the work these these people put put behind the movement and the and the union but at the end it's a film about a father and a son mm -hmm. and it's about emotions and it's about a family and it's about what we all have to go through every day and what i believe people look for in movies you know those intimate moments mm -hmm. personal stories that is what it's about so one last question. Yeah. Um, you've now both acted in and directed in English and Spanish language films. You have your own production company. You've co-written a screenplay. And you've even been in a music video. What's something you haven't done that you would like to do next? <sighs> <laughs> uh, what haven't I done? Uh, definitely the parachute experience is something I, I will do one day mm -hmm. once my son becomes old enough to do it with me. Uh, I guess one thing I'm never going to be able to do is to be a, uh, well, here I have to say, a soccer player. You know? <laughs> is that something you wanted to do? I always wanted it. <laughs> you know, I always wanted it, but I was never good enough. I did a film about uh, where I played a soccer, yeah. uh, a, a, a goalkeeper. Was that kind of like your dream coming true? <laughs> I, you know, I, 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 I don't give a shit about anyone coming in or out of room, but if suddenly Zinedine Zidane comes in, I just... I just can't handle it. <laughs> I become an eight-year-old and, and I need an autograph and, uh, and I can't stop staring at them, you know. I have that, that thing with, with soccer players, uh, just with them, yeah. 